Hello guys, Rohan here. Welcome back to this channel. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a book flip edit like this one right here using the Elite Motion application. It may look complicated, but trust me, it's the easiest edit that you can ever do. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe now. First of all, we need to open the Elite Motion application. Click on the plus icon and with the 4 to 5 ratio selected, click on create. So that will take us to the project timeline. Now click on the add icon and select media icon and choose any of your three images. Now select the first image and click on move and transform and select scale and scale it down as shown in the tutorial. Now select the move and transform tool and move it to the right side as shown in the tutorial. Do the same with the other pics too. Yeah, it's perfect. Now let's add the beat marks after every 15 frames as shown here. Click on the playhead duration bar to add the beat marks. After done, select the first image and come to the second beat mark by clicking on this arrow icon right here. Now click on effects and add effect and then select the flip layer effect. And now scroll down and change the pivot x value to minus 100. Now select angle and add a keyframe at 0.0, .0 degrees. Now come to the third beat mark and change the angle value to 75.9 degrees. So this is how it looks like. Now select the second image and come to the third beat mark and click on effects and choose the flip layer effect. And then change the pivot x value to minus 100. And after that, add the angle keyframe at 75.9 degrees at the third beat mark. And now come to the fourth beat mark and change the angle value to plus 180. So yeah, it's done. Let's check the preview. The edit looks so smooth and so perfect. Now select the first image and come to the third beat mark and then click on this icon right here to cut the right part of the layer. Now select the second image and click on this icon to cut out the left part of the layer. So yeah, this is what we got. Click on the plus icon and select the rectangle box and then click on the three dots icon on the top and click on fill to composition area. After that, click on the layer icon and click on select all layers and then click on the second icon on the top to group and mask all the layers. Now click on the layers icon and click on copy layer and now come to the very end of the frame and click on the layers icon again and click on paste layer. Now we need to extend the original group and mask layer till the end of the frame by clicking on this icon right here. Now we need to add the same third pick in the duplicated group first image layer. To do that select the duplicated group and mask layer. Click on color and fill option and select the media icon and then choose the same image. After that you can replace any of your other pics in the next two image layers. Select the second image and click on color and fill option. Click on the media icon and choose any other image. And now repeat the same process with the third image layer. So yeah it's done let's see the preview. Here the page flip is somewhat delayed. In case if you want the flip to happen first, just offset the duplicated layer like this as shown in the video. In this way you can add any number of the images by selecting the duplicated group and mask layer. Click on the layers icon and click on copy layer. Now place the playhead at the very end of the duplicated layer and click on the layers icon again and paste the layer by clicking on paste layer. And the most important thing is, don't forget to extend the duplicated layer till the end of the frame. Now we need to do the same process. We need to add the same third pick in the next group and mask first pick layer. To do that, select the next group and mask layer. Click on edit group. Click on the media icon and choose the same image. After that, in the next two image layers, you can upload different images of yours.
so this is the preview let me create one more layer so i will fast forward it now select all the layers and group them now with the group layer selected click on move and transform and move the playhead two frames before where the flip begins now with the move tool selected add a keyframe over there now select the scale icon and add a keyframe now select the move tool again and and place the playhead at the very first frame and move the image to the left and adjust it at the center and now select scale and scale it up as shown in the tutorial now select the move tool again and position it at the center now come between two keyframes of the move tool and click on the graph icon and select ease in and ease out graph add the same graph between the two keyframes of the scale tool so yeah this is the final output guys i hope you like it In case if you want to add a background image click on the add icon and select media and choose the background image drag the background image behind the group and extend the background image layer till the end of the video So yeah that's it guys in this way you can easily create a book flip edit of yours Thank you so much for watching guys i hope this video helps and please do subscribe if you haven't yet